back again. As you remember yesterday, I took the boards apart off of an old pallet. Now, today, I set up my table, I have my belt sander, and I'm gonna sand it down. Now, and I'm also gonna give it a light spray with uh, a, like a grayish metallic, because I don't wanna lose the wood grain, but I wanna fog it with a gray, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? First, I do have my glasses on, so uh, they're safety. I'm gonna mount this to the table because the belt sander will pull and it will slide out. There we go, very simple. Get yourself one of these, uh, those bracket holders, uh, they can hold anything, wood, uh, it's like an extra hand. Um, you can find them at Harbor Freight, really cheap, two or three dollars. I bought a bunch of them. I use them all the time. I don't have any help, so that's my help. So here we go. Like I was saying, I'm only going to surface it to smooth the top, so nothing is above that will cut your hand, and, and watch me do it. Some of the, the stress on this wood is beautiful. Uh, I, have, I have five boards. My belt sander, so because I didn't mention it before, I only have a hundred grit uh, sandpaper on the belt sander. That's all you need. You do really don't need to bring it down all you want. If you're going to bring it down and remove the stress, you might as well go out and buy a brand new board. But that's the beauty of this. It shows the lines. It shows the holes. That's why it's called stress. Right now, I'm gonna take it over to my horses over there on the lawn, and I'm gonna spray them, a light spray. So stay tuned. And here we go. I have to renovate the lawn that's gonna be another video as well so I brought them over and I noticed that I may have sprayed a little bit too much of what I wanted so I put them all out and I'm gonna just give it a little quick light um, sanding That's it. a little bit better so that way I, that's why I took it a little bit more on this one I like I kind of like the knot on the wood so that's ready to go okay time to put some of this stuff away bought myself a uh, nice big brush clean all the dust off of it Exact board I have 
have one left over, left over. I cut it in half so I can make the back of it so I can unite it. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the board. Okay, here they go right here. They're gonna be in the back. So, I gotta flip them around. Okay, I'm back. I went to go get this uh, square. Now, I'm gonna square it off because I don't want it to look like, uh, like me, a little bit crooked. So I'm gonna use this. See? There's no straightening that out. to Michael's I got me some letters uh, a big uh, big number five okay now this was the whole purpose of doing this because I wanted to put that saying on this board now that I have a beautiful board I went and got some letters obviously it's now problem I'm, I'm going to have is the E. It only came with one E and I need three of them. So for right now I'm just going to go ahead and put as many as I can do. Lightly spray maybe three times with a really light coat. I don't want it to seep through. I just want it to spray it to show. Yes. Yo. Uh, I know I have uh, tropical colors and blues and browns and, and all kinds of colors. Why not green? Moth green. Let's give it a try. Now, as I said before, some of those letters look elevated because the board, the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and push them down, give it a light spray, and move and, and so forth and so forth. So, let me do the S first.
Okay, so I finally decided what I wanted to do. Like I said before, I decided to outline the letter because you couldn't tell the green too much on the green, on the gray on the board. So, I already did the two E's that I needed to do. I started the outline and I remember that uh, I haven't recorded yet and I'm halfway through it, I'm almost done. I'm down to the last E. So, I wanna show you guys how to do it. So, give me a second, move the camera over and so you can see. So here you go. There is uh, what I was talking about, outlining somewhere. Now I have um, the E, that's the last E. So it's very simple, a, a permanent magic marker. I just went around it, uh, go across. You have to have a steady hand, okay? Go around it, unite it. And it's very simple, do it a little bit at a time. Okay, come across, all the way around, same thing, and there you go. And that's how I was able to do all those. Here's one here, come across. United and United and there it is it's that simple okay so that was one of the, the problems that I come across it's gray the green you couldn't tell that it was there once I hang it on the wall and now you can tell when I outlined all the all the black it's um it looks great so let's see when the, I put the other letters now I'm painting the o'clock i'm going to take you over there now okay i decided to go brown with it and there it is and it's dry because it's out here it's on the sun it's 90 degrees out it is cooking out here okay i decided to move the camera uh because it's getting dark on that side and the sun is really beaming down over here. It's time to put the letters together. I have the it's on top of the counter. It's right here. That is the first thing. So I'm going to set it all up first. And then I'm going to grab one by one and use the landscaping, the five, PL500 landscape. When this thing glues, it really glues. It's weather resistance and it's not going to come out. Michaels and got these dollar letters uh, I the stencils I did somewhere with the stencils and then uh, the palette what is the backboard and, and it's just so simple now I went to flea market to Columbus flea market on Sunday I went through there and I roamed around and I found something interesting I found a tin a metal beautiful green palm tree as you notice I love palm trees behind me my banana trees back there I have a few palm trees in and out uh, in, in the landscaping I am NOT from Florida I am from New Jersey so and I do have palm trees and and banana trees and fruit trees peaches plums and everything here uh, I love fruits I love that nat everything natural now back to the video I didn't look right, uh, even though it did come out okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna show that video anyway. Uh, but I found the palm tree, and I found that that looks much better than 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 the clock. And I'm gonna show it to you. 
this is the one that I made that I was working on. Uh, look at the difference of it between the clock and the palm tree. I think the palm tree looks much better. I, I also showed you how to outline somewhere and it brought it out, the green. And I painted it the clock brown. The five o'clock, the five, the number five came like that, the color. And that's the palm tree I bought for five dollars at the flea market. So people, don't hesitate to go out and find things. Uh, you can create anything if you put your mind to it. I had an image of the clock being where that palm tree was, and it didn't come out right. Just maybe because it wasn't the clock. I think it, I believe it was the color of the clock. But I'll use it for another uh, project that I have in mind. And I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was awesome. And look at the results. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell. So you can, uh, any videos that I have, uh, I'll make sure that you get to them. So have a nice day and enjoy. Thank you.